In this tutorial, we're going to create a basic table using polygons. I'll start by going to my top view. Holding down my space bar, I'll go to Create Polygon Primitives, and I'll choose the cube. I'll draw the top of the table, and then I'll go to my perspective view to give it some three-dimensional width. Next, I'll create the legs. I'll return to the top view, hitting 4 on the keyboard. I'll hit Command-D to duplicate the geometry. I'll hit R to start scaling it. Once I have the shape I want in the top view, I'll place it where I'd like it to be. And I'll return to my perspective view. Hitting 4 on the keyboard, if my geometry is selected, I can hit F and it'll take me to the selected geometry. I need to give this the length I want for a leg. I'll right click and choose face. I'll select the bottom face. With W, I'll select the move tool. I'll go to one of my orthographic views. And I'll just pull it down maybe four or five units to give it the height I want. Right click and return to the object mode. Back to my top view now. With the leg selected, I'll hit Command D to duplicate. And I'll put it into position on the other side. I'll shift select both legs now. Hitting Command D, I'll drag the two new legs to the other side of the table. Returning to my perspective view. I should see something like this. I want to bring it up to the XY plane on my grid. I'll select all the geometry, hitting Command or Control G to group it. I'll click on Center Pivot and I'll name the group Table. Going to an orthographic view now, I'll place the table so it's on the horizontal axis. In this case, on my side view, it would be the z-axis. And we should have something like this. When we're in the group, we can scale, rotate, and move as if it were one unit. If I were to select one piece, I can now edit it within the group. And when I hit my up arrow, I now have the group with the edit.